everyone, I'm Sarah, and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you some of the Vogue patterns that I've collected over the years, but first, I'm going to show you one of my makes. Today, I'm wearing McCall's 6355 in a size 16. I purchased this pattern from Fabricland for a Ginger Spice Spice Girl Halloween costume. I made the Union Jack dress out of a flag. I also made a nurse's costume with this same pattern. The link to the video with those dresses is right here at the top of the screen. In addition to the dresses, I also made the same top that I'm wearing, View C, with a three quarter length sleeves in another fabric. The link to the video with that top is right here at the top of the screen. This pattern includes a semi-fitted top and dress that have optional front and back vertical darts, self-neck binding, and optional invisible zipper. This is a Palmer Pledge pattern that was published in 2011. These patterns are known for their great fit. The front of the pattern envelope even says, fashion that fits. Palmer Pledge always recommends pinning the pattern pieces together and trying it on for a perfect fit. I made the three quarter length sleeve top in view C. I added three inches to the length of the top so that it was longer than the other top. I made up this pattern three times before and each time I made it, it was too large. To fix it, I added front and back neck darts to remove the excess fabric around the neckline. Those darts raise the shoulder seam so that it sat at the shoulder rather than on the arm. To avoid future alterations, I will pin the pattern pieces together and look at the ease of the pattern before cutting it out of fabric. Despite the changes, I'm very happy with how the top turned out. This lovely fabric came from the clearance section at Fabricland for $4.25 a meter. It's a wonderful knit polyester with various shades of green, blue, and white flowers on a black background. It's soft and smooth and comfortable to wear. Since it's 100% polyester, it's a great wash and wear fabric. You may recognize this fabric from a dress that I made, Vintage Simplicity 6082. The link to the video with that dress is right here at the top of the screen. To complete the look, I'm wearing Kurt Geiger shoes that I bought for $40 at The Way We Were, an elegant consignment boutique in Georgetown, Ontario. The skirt is Chapter 1 from the St. Vincent de Paul Charity Shop. The purse came from the Salvation Army Charity Shop and the gold necklace from Value Village Thrift Stores. My earrings were in a Ziploc bag full of jewelry that I bought for $5 at a church Christmas bazaar. Now, on to the patterns. The first pattern is Vogue 8101. It's a very easy Vogue blouse, skirt, and belt pattern that was published in 1982. It's a loose fitting, pullover, above hip length blouse that has a back button closing with or without a two piece round collar, front outside tucks, and short sleeves or full length sleeves gathered into self or contrast button cuffs. All pieces have top stitching. Blouses A and C 
include a self-tie belt. View D's blouse has a contrast collar and cuffs. The pattern includes a self or contrast slightly flared A-line skirt that falls two inches or five centimeters below the knee, mid-calf or evening length, and has an elasticized waistband, side seam pockets, and a front inverted pleat. Blouses B and D have a purchase belt. The recommended fabrics are soft fabrics such as crepe de chine, tissue fail, chalice, charmeuse, and lightweight crepe. My favorite view is D's blouse with the contrast collar and cuffs and view A's mid-calf skirt. What I found interesting about this pattern envelope is that the French language comes first on the pattern followed by the English and all the measurements are in metric. There are no imperial measurements on the envelope, but the pattern instructions show both inches and centimeters. The next pattern is Vogue 9004. I bought this pattern from the discard bin at Fabricland for $5.99. It was published in 2014 and is a Mrs. Top pattern. This fitted top has front seam detail and a back zipper. Views A and B have bias front armholes. View C has two piece sleeves with a slit. Views B and C have shaped front hemlines. The recommended fabrics are silk crepe, silk like broadcloth, heavy georgette, and lightweight linen. I like view A, but also the asymmetrical necklines of views B and C. I have a couple of blue fabrics that would look fabulous together for views A or B. The next pattern is Vogue 1041. This is a Vogue basic design pattern published in 1992. This loose fitting, unlined jacket has mock bands, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, and long sleeves with stitched hems. View C is above the hip. View D is below the hip with pockets. View E is hip length, double breasted, and has welts. This semi-fitted top has slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, stitched hems, a back zipper, and above elbow or long sleeves. View A is above the hip. View B is hip length with a collar. The suggested fabrics are double knit, wool jersey, interlock, and rib knits. What I like about this pattern are the number of variations included and I love how they styled the tops and jackets on the front of the envelope. The hats give them a polished look. My favorite is the long sleeve top of View B, paired with the longer jacket of View D. The next pattern is Vogue 7784, published in 2003. I bought this pattern on sale from Fabricland. This package includes patterns and instructions to make seven lined hats. Each hat is offered in three sizes, small, medium, and large. Hat A has a self fringe. Hat B has a quilted top. Hat C and D have contrast sections and top stitched brims. Hats E and F have a larger top stitch brim and hat G is self lined. I'm sewing hat F out of a beautiful black velvet. The next pattern is Vogue 9150, published in 2015. I found this pattern in the discard bin for $5.99 from Fabricland. This line dress has a close fitting bodice, midriff, yoke, back zipper, and the front skirt is overlapped. Views A and B are sleeveless and view C has long sleeves. View B is cut on the crosswise grain. The recommended fabrics are pont knit, synthetic suede, jacquard, and lightweight woolens. I have a deep green lightweight wool gabardine that would look fabulous for view C. Before I continue with the Vogue sewing patterns, Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I would love to help others sew and refashion on a budget 
and troubleshoot their favorite patterns. I also love sharing the treasures that I find at thrift shops. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and make sure that the bell is on so you receive a notification when I release a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Now, back to the patterns. Then I have Vogue 9235. This is a Vogue accessories pattern published in 2016. I found this pattern in the discard bin for $5.99 from Fabricland. This is a Catherine Bren Vogue Pattern Designer Original Pattern for four unlined hats. Hat A has a rolled band and self-fabric trim. Boiled wool is the recommended fabric. Hat B has self-fabric flower and contrast petal. The suggested fabric for this hat is Angora Knit. Hat C, the beret, has leather accents and should be made from wool knit, and the contrast should be lambskin. Hat D has multiple crown layers and hand stitching on the outer seams. The recommended fabric for this hat is boiled wool. Hat D reminds me of an evergreen tree that's been covered in snow and about to tip over from the weight. The next pattern is Vogue 9046. It's a Claire Schaefer's custom couture collection and a Vogue Patterns American Designer pattern published in 2014. This dress is close fitting through the bust, has shoulder pleats, front and back tucks, waist stay with hook and eye closing, bias binding finish, and a back zipper. This pattern has Claire Schaefer's easy to follow instructions that teach you the inside secrets of luxurious couture construction details. The recommended fabrics are Silk du Piani, Crepe, Silk Jersey, and Linen. The binding should be Silk Chiffon or Silk Crepe de Chine, and the interfacing should be Silk Organza. This pattern was $5.99 in the discard bin from Fabricland, and I thought that I would lengthen the skirt and the sleeves before making up the dress. Then there's Vogue 8405. I bought this pattern on sale from Fabricland. This Vogue accessories pattern was published in 2007. This package includes patterns and instructions for four lined hats, each offered in small, medium, and large. Hat A and B have two trim options for each hat. I'm going to make view A with the largest brim because it'll look quite feminine and flattering while protecting my face from the sun. The recommended fabrics are twill, embroidered twill, raw silk, pique, jacquard, home decorating fabrics, and canvas. The next pattern is a very easy Vogue wardrobe pattern. It's Vogue 8467, published in 1972. This is a semi-fitted A-line dress in mid-knee, evening, or tunic length and has neckline and sleeve variations and self or contrast shaped front inset with or without top stitch trim. The pattern also includes pants with a back zipper. I like that there's a choice of two different necklines, either a slit or v-neck, and that the pattern comes with short or long sleeves. If a pattern has short sleeves, I usually redraw them longer. I also like the front inset that's shaped like a chevron. Very eye-catching. This pattern is suitable for knits and the suggested fabrics are soft or crisp fabrics such as light and medium weight wool, chalice, medium weight crepe, silk linen, moir, pique, velvet, satin, knits, and gabardine. Sequins can also be used for contrast E. I bought this pattern for $2 at Good Value Thrift Store in downtown London, Ontario. The next pattern is another very easy Vogue pattern. This is Vogue 8391, published in 2007. I purchased this pattern on sale over 10 years ago from Fabricland. This is a wrap top with collar and neck variations, side tie, and machine stitched hems. View A is sleeveless. View B is short sleeves, and View C has three quarter length sleeves 
with a roll-up cuff. I made up this top with View A's neckline and View C's three-quarter length sleeves. You may remember this top from another pattern haul video. The link to that video is right here at the top of the screen. I bought the fabric at Fabricland in the clearance section for $7 a meter, originally $29 a meter, so I bought two meters. I just couldn't pass up this beautiful fabric. I love the white rope pattern on the emerald green fabric. I thought that it went well with the blue and white fabrics that I bought at the time. They all go together for a nautical look. Even though the pattern calls for broadcloth, lightweight linen, or crepe, I chose this cotton mix fabric because it has just a hint of stretch. I didn't make any alterations to the pattern pieces before cutting the fabric, but once I had the shirt in one piece, I decided not to cuff the sleeves so that they would be full length instead. This is a lovely top, but a bit too low cut for me, so I always wear it with a camisole. The next pattern is Vogue 8740. It's an Ultra EZ by Vogue pattern published in 1993. This is a close fitting jumper that falls just above the ankle and has low armholes, a back zipper, and a hemline slit. The loose fitting blouse has a collar, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, and long sleeves pleated into button cuffs. The suggested fabrics for the jumper are double knit, wool crepe, gabardine, and linen. The blouse should be made from crepe, tissue fail, and Oxford cloth. I bought this pattern for $2 at Good Value Thrift Stores in downtown London, Ontario. I'll make a couple of changes to the pattern before making it up. I think that I'll shorten it just a bit and add a kick pleat to the back of the skirt. Kick pleats look so polished. I'll also move the shoulder seam back to where it should sit on the shoulder and not add the shoulder pads. I love the big collar and cuffs on the blouse. Very bold, very Vogue. My final pattern is Vogue 1654, published in 2019. This easy sew pattern is a special occasion dress and has a faux wrap bodice, pleated skirt and sleeves, and a center back zipper with sleeve and length variations. Dress A has gross green ribbon and button trim and cuffs with snaps. Dress B has long sleeves and is floor length. A very nice feature about this pattern is that it has separate pattern pieces for A, B, C, and D cup sizes for a custom fit. The recommended fabrics are stretch wovens, scuba knit, and pont knit. When I make up this dress, it's going to be T length with long sleeves, and I'm going to redraw the front bodice piece so that it isn't as low cut. This may involve extending and overlapping the bodice piece more than what is shown, but I'm not sure yet. I'll keep you posted. I hope you enjoyed my Vogue sewing pattern haul. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the notification bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.